Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Ackland. Today's video, we're going to jump into another very interesting area of regenerative medicine. Human umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cell derived myogenic cells. Now that is a medical word salad. So let's break that down into its various parts. It might sound complex, but the concept is actually quite simple. Mesenchymal stem cells, often referred to as MSCs for short, are a unique type of cell capable of developing into various tissue types within the body. These cells can become bone, cartilage, fat, and importantly for today's topic, muscle. When sourced from the human umbilical cord, MSCs exhibit remarkable regenerative abilities. The umbilical cord is an abundant, ethically sourced material obtained after healthy births with the consent of the donor. What makes umbilical cord derived MSCs especially valuable is their youthful, highly adaptable nature, which allows them to proliferate rapidly and differentiate into specialized cells more efficiently than adult stem cells. Adults do have some stem cells in their body, but they have to be accessed by an invasive procedure such as bone marrow aspiration or aspiration of belly fat. Not only is that invasive, but if you're 60 years old, you're basically harvesting 60-year-old stem cells. Umbilical stem cells, for all intents and purposes, are brand new. Through scientific and advanced techniques in the lab, these MSCs can be guided or programmed to become specific cell lines, such as myogenic cells. Cells specifically designed to support the growth, repair, and regeneration of muscle tissue. This process is known as myogenic differentiation. When these myogenic cells are introduced into the body, their role in healing begins almost immediately. One of the commonest questions that I get asked by patients is, how do the stem cells know where to go specifically where they're needed? The process starts with what's called homing. This is where the cells detect chemical signals released by injured or inflamed tissue, guiding them precisely to the areas that need those stem cells. Once they arrive at the damaged site, the real work begins. The cells start to differentiate, meaning they transform into mature muscle cells known as myocytes. These new cells then fuse with existing muscle fibers, filling in damaged areas, repairing micro tears, and supporting the restoration of muscle strength and function. But the benefits don't stop there. The umbilical cord MSC-derived myogenic cells also release a variety of growth factors. These substances help reduce inflammation, promote the formation of new blood vessels to supply the recovering tissue, and even encourage the body's own original stem cells to become more active. The potential application for these cells are broad and pretty exciting. They show promise in treating a variety of conditions where muscle damage is the key issue. These include acute injuries such as muscle tears or strains from sports or accidents, as well as chronic degenerative conditions like muscular dystrophy or sarcopenia, which is the loss of muscle mass associated with aging. They're also being explored for their role in aiding post-surgical recovery in cases of tendon or ligament injuries when surrounding muscle has been affected these cells can support not just healing, but the restoration of proper function and strength. One of the most remarkable aspects of MSC-derived myogenic cells is how they combine the benefits of stem cell therapy with a targeted focus on muscle regeneration. Because they're derived from the umbilical cord, they're less likely to trigger an immune response, making them a safer option. While the clinical applications are promising, it's important to recognize that this is an emerging field. Ongoing research is focused on understanding the best ways to deliver these cells, whether through direct injection into damaged tissue or using an intravenous method. Clinical trials are investigating how these cells can be used in combination with traditional therapies to enhance recovery outcomes. Like any developing medical technology, there are challenges. 
Researchers are studying the long-term effects of these therapies to ensure that the regenerated tissue remains strong and functional over time. It's also crucial to understand regenerative medicine is not a magic bullet. These therapies are often most effective when combined with comprehensive care, including physical therapy, nutritional support, and lifestyle modification. Human umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cell derived myogenic cells, now you understand the sentence, represent a groundbreaking step forward in the way we think about healing and recovery. Thank you for joining me today. If you found the video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more educational content on the latest in regenerative health and longevity.